Good morning, Survivor. You have been deleted. No, 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 okay. Not you. But if you were using one of the old experimental pregens, unfortunately, that map has been deleted. So if you want to use it, you have to follow a few steps. That has finally been done in this B325 experimental update. I'm VDV42, and I will be covering the highlights of this update. It just came out today, so if you're running a server, you do need to update it to continue playing. They do mention that it is deleting the old experimental pregens, as they mentioned, and if you want to preserve it, follow some steps. They'll tell you where to go, the steps to take, and if you didn't copy the world before, go to the Google Drive and download it here. Oh! They are preparing for stable next week. As you know, they were looking at around the 25th for stable, including release on console, and that appears to be a go. There have been a bunch of things that have been added. I'm not going to go through because they're pretty small things. As you can see, you can read through yourself. There is one really important and really good change, however, that comes as far as lock slots and inventory can be selected per slot. Super useful. And what does that mean? Well, let's put down this storage here. We go into it and you can see you can actually lock the slots. Let's say I want to lock these first three or four. You see these ones are locked. These ones are not. Of course, I can lock some random ones down here as well. And then let's say you can see there's, there's a small outline here. So when I push everything in, you'll see, bam, the things from non lock slots will be transferred really useful because we used to have we had to put a certain amount of slots being locked between nine plus whatever you wanted to have but you couldn't lock individual slots this is slightly different in the sense you can so you can arrange your inventory the way you want to i do find this a better way of handling lock slots it's a little bit cumbersome to have to go in here to do it as opposed to i don't know right clicking double clicking or something but at least it'll work and it'll give you more flexibility of how to arrange your inventory i like it and you will see they have created a bunch of new of the pre-gen maps and the reason they were doing that is because the old pre-gens didn't have all the new PUIs, they didn't have all the changes and since they've been putting in new things during the experimental phase, they also wanted to update the generator walls, which is good. When it comes to things that have changed, as always, a lot of things change. Interestingly, the HP health points of the direwolf has been increased as well as the damage so they're gonna make it uh, a bit tougher at least I do still find the animation a little bit janky it's like very glitchy I don't know really why it happens on some of the animals unfortunately and one of the things that we kept saying it was really weird to have loot packs from the animals and now they have removed them again except for the dire wolf and the zombie bear hopefully they have a custom loot table as well so you don't get like steel ingots and stuff like that i can understand again having a zombie bear or dire, dire wolf having eaten up an adventure or having some crappy armor broken armor maybe a small weapon or something but not like steel pickaxes or steel ingots is really weird. I am glad that they removed the dropbacks because that just did not make sense. Yes, for these ones, okay, fine. I, I, I can go with that, but not for the rest. So that's a good change. Give us that meat and leather and bones when we're stripping them down with our knives or axes. That should be sufficient. A bunch of fixes as well. Nothing that really looked like it was critical. Again, just changes and updates and fixes to small bugs, small things with the PUIs or just the animations or the sound, etc. Which is something we're going to keep on seeing as we move forward. I have heard of a bunch of dupe bugs that have been occurring at least on my server. Now it's not a P2P server, it is a regular server where people are duplicating you know, vehicles or turrets and stuff like that. So maybe this is something that they have finally fixed. It doesn't really matter that much, but again, you shouldn't be getting into the situations where you're getting duplicate turrets or something simply because the game is not handling it properly. But that's about it. We're getting those lockable inventory slot per slot. We're getting changes in the pre-gen maps and we're getting changes in animals. No more loot bags and more difficult dire wolves. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're getting a stable release next week. Are you excited? Are you most excited about the console release? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you next week, hopefully in stable. Alright, I really hate doing this, especially at the end. I made my video, I exited out, and 
whoop, lo and behold, there's a 5GB update again. B326, hotfix, fixed hotel CO2 not spawning. Why did you have to release another hotfix? Just leave it for the next big version. All these small versions is not good to keep releasing. Again, yes, I know experimental versions. You can expect many and frequent updates, but it does look very unprofessional to have an update, especially the one uh, one that comes in on a Friday or Saturday, and then you are releasing another hotfix because that one is not properly tested and vetted. Don't do that. Slow things down. Anyway, if you did get another hotfix, B326, you know it's because a hotel is not spawning. I'm, I'm pretty sure there must be something else. It seems really weird to release and force a 5GB download just because one hotel is not spawning. So maybe there's more to it than meets the eyes.